IGP AGF risk contentment charges over alleged disregard to court order. Do we still have court order being obeyed in this country? I seriously doubt it. Like seriously, I doubt it. This was what happened in a more issue arrest case when we saw that, you know, um, former president of America, Donald Trump, had to come out to say that, I mean, there is no rule of law in Nigeria. It's sad, but it's the truth, you know, and he said this is rather very, very shameful. There is no rule of law. You know, how can the court say at that time, Omo Elisha Wares should be released, yet months on, he's still in court. He's still in, uh, he's still in police station or detention or prison as the case may be. It's rather very sad, but these things are happening. Clear indication of what, of total violation. And these are measures that are put in place to ensure that there is orderliness. Guess what? IGP, AGF are now the new law and order in Nigeria. They determine what happened. Whether you like it or not, you have, in quote and unquote, to obey them. Sad, but it's what is going on. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. IGP, AGF, Malami, risk contentment charges over alleged disregards for court order. Justice Edo Eko of Federal High Court Abuja on Monday ordered that the warrant of release issued in favor of two Nigerians detained by police since October, okay, since October, be served on the Inspector General of Police, IGP Akali Baba Husman, Attorney General of the Federation, AGF Abuba Kamalami, and four others. The judge had, on October the 5th, 2021, ordered the IGP AGF to release Joseph Ibuke on the Deputy Inspector General of Police, First Criminal Investigation Department. Abuja to immediately release Jude and Happiness Ebuka, who had been in detention at the FICID Abuja since October the 5th this year. Justice Ekowo ordered of release on Monday for fresh service of the earlier order on the IGP AGF was orchestrated by the complaint of a senior advocate of Nigeria, San Okpatu son, lawyer to Jude, Ojofo, and happiness that the police has refused to obey the court order. Okpatu, who sounded bitter, complained to the court that IGP and other respondents in the fundamental human rights enforcement suit by his client has been served with court order since November the 5th release, but they have been disregarded and have the order has not been followed. He said, although the case was adjourned for hearing, the respondent refused to obey the court order to release the two detainee and also refused to ap appeal to court if there is any issue. The order of this court was served on the correspondent since November the 5th. IGP has refused to release him. We have applied for 48 interment intermittent contemporary charges against him and committee and they've committed him to prison i don't know why the igp and dig will turn themselves into executive sabotage of court order i want to appeal to the court to order the igp to come here and show causes why he should not be sent to prison for disobeying court order in a short ruling justice eko was said he would rather allow the IGP and others to respond to obey the court order and come to defend the case pending against them rather than other, other options being used. I am mindful to make an order to give the respondent ample time to comply with court order and to enable them to appeal in court to defend the pending cases, the judge has said. So this is what IGP an attorney general for the federation this is what they do 
Okay, they are the new law and order in Nigeria. The new law and order. Uh, unless they, they deem it fit to release you, you remain in custody as long as they deem it fit. If they feel, even if the court says that you have not committed offense, so then, if you have, this is how the Fulani, uh, you know, the Fulani clan and community, this is how they rule. If they feel that you've committed an offense and the court say you did not commit offense, who is court to tell them you have not committed an offense? You'll be there. You will be there. So this is how Nigerian, this is how they do. This is what they do in Nigeria. This is the new order. This is how they go about things. It's sad, but it's the truth. This is what they do. We, we can't pretend that these things are not happening before our very eyes. We can't pretend. I mean, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be deceiving ourselves, just ourselves, in line that these things are not happening. Or, or, or indeed, they are really happening. Before our very eyes, these things are going on. So you see, every one of us have got a duty here to stand for the truth and do not allow ourselves to be used in all of this that is going on. Every one of us must be honest, must be sincere to deliver law and justice. If we keep quiet, the truth of the matter is why Nigerians continue to allow these things to happen, yes? If something happened to somebody else, do you know what happened? We say, oh, it's not my business, it's their business. <laughs> it's, a very, it's a grave mistake. What do I mean by that? It's not their business. It's actually our business. Because what happens to one, if it's permitted and nobody pays attention, it becomes a norm. They, they think it's okay. And before you know it, they continue to act in that way. They continue to act indiscriminately. I mean, without paying attention. I mean, they don't care what happened to anybody. And they just go ahead and, you know, discharge duty without even paying attention that there is anything called law and order there is truth there is no transparency i mean and everything is just done anyhow at the end of the day we, we become a lawless society where there is never any opportunity for the truth to be told you say so these are some of the things going on these are some of the things going on igp i mean the police and the attorney general of the federation they are the new law and order in nigeria oh you don't know they are the ones who are determining what happened. Every other person can go to the abbeys, lit up the fire and burn it upon themselves for all they care. They don't care. I mean, they don't want to know. They don't care. Whatever happens, okay. It happens, okay. They don't care. You see, so this is what they do. And sadly, they get away with it. Because there are really truly no people who are ensuring that, you know, the right things are done. They are really, really, truly no systems to ensure that, you know, the, the truth come out at the end of the day. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.